Hello everyone and welcome to the Historic Jetliners Group Tutorials. Today I'll be showing you how to install aircraft into FS9 Flight Sim 2004 and a couple of differences um, that are required with the installation of FSX. So first of all, let's go and download some stuff. We'll open up the Historic Jetliners Group uh, webpage, that's www.fsx.com simviation.com forward slash hjg and here we come up with the hosting page we'll just click on the 707 and you'll be taken to the home page you'll see there's a download a forum are the probably the two most important of those plus the frequently asked questions but let's go to the downloads page here you have all the different aircraft that are hosted. Underneath that you also have any special effects, the panels and the core files that may be required for those panels, sounds and AI aircraft and their effects. Uh, today we'll be downloading the Caravel, so we'll go to the 210-3. There are two different types of Caravel here. We've got the early versions and just below it we have the late versions. Today we'll be downloading the late version of the Caravel 3. So just click first of all on the base pack. This provides the aircraft to have your repaints put on. Well that's downloading. We'll go and look for a repaint. So looking underneath there we come across the Thai Airways one. It's the one I want to download today. So we'll click on download for that repaint and OK. If you're going to be using FSX you'll also need to get a copy of the little thumbnail here. So right mouse click on that, save picture as downloads, save. Right, we can close that, it's just downloading the very slowly the, um, the repaint and it's already downloaded the aircraft. Now we're going to click on the effects files. Here we have a choice of the Boeing 707s, the Convair, the Douglas DC-8s and 9s and at the bottom there is the Caravel. So click on the download. And save the aircraft effects. It's done already. And it's finally downloaded the repaint. So we have the aircraft, we have the effects, now we'll get the panel. Today we have the Caravel 3 and being Thai Airways they actually use Scandinavian aircraft system configured aircraft. So here you'll find the Caravel 3 panel, Scandinavian aircraft systems config, download that and save. Some of the other um, aircraft models, for example the Boeing, you'll also have to download core files required to run these panels. They're installed separately into the gauges and the sound sections of the flight sim. But as you saw with the Caravel today, no core files, so it's a nice easy one to download. And while that's downloading, we'll go to the sound sections and we'll download two tens, the ones, the threes and the sixes. So we'll download Benoit's fantastic sound set for the Caravel. I'll close these other windows down and we'll just wait for that to finish downloading and then I'll come back to you. Okay, everything's downloaded now so we just need to open up a couple of Windows Explorer windows and I'm just going to run them slightly minimised so I can get two screens like so. I might just run them out this way so we can display the two screens at the same time. Makes it a lot easier. On the first one we'll go to downloads and here we have the aircraft we've just um, downloaded from the website. On the second one We'll go to Flight Sim 9 and 
in the flight sim folder we'll look for aircraft here it is and that has all the aircraft that are currently installed into my flight sim 9 first of all we have the zip files here and the little JPEG that we copied if you're downloading to F into FSX right here is the caravel so let's go ahead and extract that now there we go double click and here you'll find the installation text for how to install the base pack and the actual aircraft itself so you can see there we've got model panel sound the important air file config and any of the checklists that come with this aircraft so we'll go back we'll just copy that one and paste it into flight sim there we go as you can see it's pasted in at the very top just underneath my Aeroworks King Air double clicking on that you now have the model and the aircraft config next we want to go ahead and install the repaint here it is the Thai Airways repaint once again extract that from the zip file and copy the repaint into the aircraft folder we then want to get add to aircraft text copy the top half of that and close it down go back to your flight sim 9 caravel open up the aircraft config there's a little gap at the top there between the description and the general information and we want to paste it in there we want to change that to the next number in the sequence and because this is the very first number in the sequence that's going to be zero when we install the next repaint that'll just go below it there and of course that would then become flight sim 1 and then you do flight sim 2 etc etc but you always start at zero close and save that so now you've got the aircraft textures installed we can go back and next we want to install the panel let's unzip that there's our caravel panel down there now the panel is actually a two-step process first of all we want to go flight sim back into the aircraft folder and you want to look down for the FSFS CONV double click on that and that's all the little add-on panels that you get from third-party payware so we'll copy this one into that fsfsconv copy and paste so that's in there now go back to aircraft open up our caravel again and here we have the panel and the panel config at the moment the panel config has the aircraft set to use the 737 400 panel so we want to change that to use the new one here in our unzipped folder uh, the installation text so but what we actually want here is the new alias we want to go to that alias just there copy and replace that one with what we copied so now it says alias FS, FS, CONV, panel, caravel. Save that. So now our aircraft panel is looking for the special caravel panel. Next thing we're going to do are Benoit's fantastic sounds, the jet engine. So we'll extract those. and they're really really easy to install what you do is you go to your aircraft in the flight sim click on the sound panel and delete then get Benoit's ones copy them 
and paste the entire folder. That's basically replaced the old sounds with the fantastic new ones by Benoit. So let's see. We've installed the aircraft, we've installed the repaints, the panel and the sounds. Last thing we have to do is install the smoke effects. So I'll just extract that. If you double click on them, you'll see it has installation instructions which tell you exactly where to put them. What you can do, just copy the effects folder, go to Flight Sim 9, and the actual root directory of the Flight Sim, and paste. And what it's asking you that we have two uh, folders with the same name on them, do we want to merge them? The answer is yes. So now we've got the the effects for the caravel placed actually inside the flight sim. I'll close that one down. Now, if we were going to be installing the aircraft into FSX, there are a couple of little changes you have to make. Um, first of all, the caravel isn't designed for FSX, so you'd probably have to download a different aircraft. But one of the most important um, changes that you will need is the little thumbnail we downloaded. What you want to do is change that, rename it to thumbnail. You then want to go into your flight sim go to the caravel go to the repaint copy and paste that into the repaint texture folder what that will do is uh, when in FSX when you go to the menus you will uh, bring up the, the different thumbnails of the aircraft that are installed into Flight Sim 10. That just means that when you do actually click on FSX, you'll have the picture of the caravel there rather than just a, um, a default texture which is a plane with a question mark on it. Uh, it's much neater and much nicer. It's probably one other change that you should uh, make. I find it uh, a lot easier with FSX. So if you go to the aircraft, you open the config, and here you've got the UI manufacturer type variation. Under variation, just put in UI underscore created by equals, then in inverted commas, I like to put Historic Jet Lighters Group, or HJG for short. Close and save that. That just means that when you go to the FSX menu, uh, you can actually search for HJG as um, one of the aircraft types, and then in there, the thumbnail that you placed before will show the different repaints of that. It just cleans it up a lot and makes it a lot more easy to use with the menus. Okay, another thing to quickly note is for Flight Sim X folders, they're in a slightly different location. I've actually loaded FSX into its own drive here, but they're under Microsoft Games Flight Sim X, you'll then need to scroll down until you find Sim Objects. Double click on Sim Objects and the aeroplanes in there. What you'll find is it doesn't actually have an FSFSCONV folder, so you'll have to create one yourself uh, just by right mouse clicking, new folder, and then give it the name. And then you can put your different panels in there. Here we go, FS9's up and running now. You want to go to your aircraft manufacturer, look for SUD, Sud Aviation. And in there you'll find your caravel. Okay, so we've got uh, Flight Sim 9 up and running with the caravel. We'll go to Easy Start, ready to go. 
There's our panel just there, all nicely installed. Here we are in Paris Orly. Well, thank you very much for watching this tutorial on how to install Historic Jetliner Group aircraft into Flight 79 with a couple of uh, little differences for FSX. Please feel free to leave any comments you may have in the comments section underneath this video or head on over to the Historic Jetliner Group's forums. I'll leave links for those in the comments section. But thank you very much for joining me today and I hope you have happy flight simming.